chat.
Good morning and welcome to St. Bernadette Catholic Church. We're so glad you're here with us on this 28th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Our opening psalm is Come, Now is the Time to Worship. You can find it in the Breaking Bread Hymnal, number 553. Number 553 in the Breaking Bread Hymnal. Come, now is the time to worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Very good morning to all of you. And so my dear friends, we, we, we gather to respond in faith uh, God's invitation for us to share in the Eucharist as uh, we will be reflecting and be Proclaiming and reflecting in the readings today about God giving us this Eucharist, a uh, symbol of his love for us. Choice wine, good food, banquet, the ki kind of giving us a taste of, of the kingdom of heaven. And yet, at the same time, our, our world is not perfect. And thus, we uh, grieve, we mourn about the death and the Middle East and Israel and Gaza Strip and the borders and the sufferings of the people. Uh, we, we ask the Lord to, to com comfort us, in other words, to strengthen us in our faith as we are all connected with them, as we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. So uh, mindful of our own sinfulness and mindful of this evils uh, in the world, especially in that place where Jesus lived, Jesus walked, and Jesus lived, and Jesus taught, we ask God's mercy and strength upon all of us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my world, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Mercy, Lord. 
to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines. Juicy, rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth. For the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord.
He gives me repose Beside restful waters He leads me He refreshes my soul I shall For you are at my side, with your rod and your staff, I fear no evil. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me. In the sight of my foes, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Only in goodness, kindness, follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord for years to come i shall live in the house of the lord all the days of my life i shall A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of having in abundance and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress my God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables saying, the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast but they refused to come. A second time, he sent out other servants saying, tell those invited, behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and my fattened cattle are killed and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away. One to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged, and he sent his troops, destroy those murderers, and burn their city. Then he said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main streets, and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike. And the hall was filled with guests. The Gospel of the Lord. You may be seated. My brothers and sisters, Christ is, we, you know so very well, we all know so very well about the death, sufferings, pain, sorrows, sadness, death, blackness, hopelessness that the world is experiencing at this time and will be having that, such sadness too for, for a long time. Uh, I, I don't want to make it even worse by adding more images, horrific images of what's going on in Gaza Strip and in Israel. But I trust the Lord, and that's why I speak. Um, I've been weakened for for a week now. I've been wanting to prepare my homily and share my thoughts with you, but I kind of <laughs> wasn't able to. But somehow God is still good to me and good to us. How we celebrate God's goodness. Yesterday, I heard about how did our brothers and sisters in Christ resume their Sabbath celebration, which is like the equivalent to our Mass. People in Israel are still alive, alive in their faith. They came together and observed Sabbath. Sabbath is just like us people here, all of us gathering to celebrate the death and resurrection of Christ. And it is a hopeful experience in spite of what was going on around Israel. Yet people of faith came together. In other words, they came to the banquet that Jesus speaks of in today's gospel. Some people turned away. Some people did not 
respond to God's call to that king's invitation to the wedding of his son. The king referring to God the Father, a son referring to Jesus Christ. But people came together and respond. The last line in today's gospel is, and the wedding banquet was filled with people. We are talking about us, people filled with faith. We came to respond to God's call to his gift of the Eucharist. The prophet Isaiah spoke about that long, long time ago, about 500, 500 years before Christ. Come to the feast. The Father provides for you choice wine and good food. And while you have responded to God's call to share in the feast of the Father, the Father will wipe away the tears from your eyes. The people in Israel who came to celebrate Sabbath, they allowed God, the Father, Abba, Father, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob. They remembered how Yahweh took them away from the slavery of Egypt and stayed with them in the desert. Those Gazans or Palestinians who were leaving, they didn't have water, food, fuel, electricity, no medication, no car, nothing. But they truly believe that God walked with them in the same way that our God walked with our ancestors in the desert through the valley of death. The responsorial psalm is so beautiful. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Through valleys and hills and through darkness and through death, God, our shepherd, walks with us. At our age or my age, <laughs> Normally, I would, as I always wanted to make a difference in the world by being a soldier. And I am so ennobled to speak about those who stand, step up and fight for their country, for liberty, for their freedom, for their dignity. And also from the pulpit, I already made a decision since I cannot be a soldier, I could be a priest. I'd use my God-given gift to condemn terrorism in the pulpit because it is about killing the people of God. It is about hating, about hatred. That is not good and that is not morally acceptable. But I can ask you to pray with me and to pray for me and to pray for all the other people in my weakness and the people in their sadness and in their suffering. Pray. I think we can do that. You have better forms of prayer but I suggest you pray with me the prayer of St. Francis. Sometimes we call it prayer for peace. Let's do it now. For those of you who can memorize it, let's do it. I can't. Okay. Senior moments. <laughs> Lord, make me an instrument of your peace where there is hatred 
let me show love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is, O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. We now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, as a people of God, we continue to walk with God. And also, at, as we do, we also present to Him our prayers and our special needs. Dear loving God, you tell us, Behold, I have prepared a banquet. As we receive your invitation, we raise our prayers and petitions to you, trusting that you will hear and answer them in your infinite love and generous hospitality. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church bears witness to the world of the abundant blessings that God freely gives to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are burdened by the challenges of life, that people of good will may be instruments of God's grace to lift them up and wipe away their tears. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are homeless, and for those who do not have enough to eat or adequate medical care, for God's blessing on all who are in greatest need this day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people live with hearts of sincere gratitude. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our Lord. prayer. For the eternal rest of all who now sleep in Christ, and for a healing consolation to fill the hearts of all who mourn, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those in need of prayers, especially for Bernadette Yolovet, may she rest in peace, and for whom this Mass is being offered, that they may know God's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for that many people may come to visit Our Lady of Fatima when she arrives here in our parish in this unprecedented visit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all the prayers we hold in the silence of our own hearts,
for these prayers and those entered into our prayer and petition book, that they may be received and answered by our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. Our Father in heaven, we present to you these prayers coming from your people. May you continue to guide us and strengthen us in our hardship and all our, uh, our weakness. All this we do and pray in the name of Jesus who lives with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. We are in the hands of a gracious and loving God, but our promise of eternal life comes with the obligation of being prepared to receive our place in paradise. We are called to do more than profess to be Christians. We are called to behave like the loving and charitable people we profess to be. Please take a few moments to prayerfully consider your offertory gift to God and thanksgiving for the many blessings you have received this week. Our hymn of preparation is Come, Come Ye Disconsolates. You can find it in the Lead Me, Guide Me hymnal, number 255 in the Lead Me, Guide Me hymnal, Come Ye Disconsolates. Come ye disconsolate when
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering, canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O, o Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death the Lord until you come again. You come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together Francis, our Pope, who is our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. with confidence to God our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus himself taught us our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but the fate of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should be under my roof, but only say the word in my soul. Our communion hymn is Let Us Break Bread Together. You can find it in the Lead Me, Guide Me hymnal, number 135. Number 135.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Are there any birthdays? Any birthdays? Aha, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from St. Bernadette. Happy birthday to you. Are there any anniversaries? Any anniversaries? Wedding, job, coordination? No? Okay. Are there any visitors? Any visitors? Hello there. Where are you from? San Diego. Please stand so we can sing to you. <laughs> Anybody else? Go ahead. Oh, where, oh, and where are you from? From Nigeria. Okay, you get the long distance award. <laughs> and we're, no, please stay standing, yeah. 
from England. Oh, wow. Welcome. From um, Great Britain. It's wonderful. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to St. Bernadette's. We say welcome. Welcome. Welcome to St. Bernadette's. We know you have parishes back home, but whenever you're in town, this is your parish. Amen? Amen. Um, a leak this week developed in our main water supply to the church and to the rectory. Uh, the actual announcement says repairs are underway, but I'm glad to report that as of yesterday afternoon, we had the repair made. I have to, God bless Monsignor and uh, Father Mbaka, because we were schlepping, uh, Jewish word, we were schlepping water up from the convent. The convent had water, but the rectory and the church didn't. We thought we were not going to have bathrooms available, but they found the leak, they got it fixed, amen, it's taken care of. So. Thank you to all who contributed to the Christian service bag drive. You see one of those examples right in front of me. The response was absolutely overwhelming. Um, if you brought any today, please, we'll take them. You can put them in the basket, but we do have enough, and Christian service is very grateful. Those bags will get filled with food and distributed to the homeless and the hungry. In preparation for the arrival of the Our Lady of Fatima statue, we started a 10-day novena on Tuesday, October 10th. It's still open to anyone who would like to participate in this landmark event. The novena will continue through Wednesday, October 18th. We've been advertising it to you on Flocknote, so you should have received a Zoom invitation on Flocknote. If you've not received this important email or any of the other stuff we send you out on Flocknote, please contact the parish office and give us your name and email address so we can make sure that we send all of that information directly to you, whether it be about this or any other events or things going on in the church. Those of you who plan to come to visit Our Lady of Fatima, please be advised it is customary to bring her flowers at some, you don't have to, this is not a mandatory thing, but usually what happens is I don't tell anybody this and then I hear, why didn't you tell us Deacon Jim? So it is customary to bring her flowers. Um, you can, and you can leave them there for everybody else to enjoy, but again, it's not a requirement. Um, our very popular trunk or treat returns, there are flyers, at the doors and um, yeah at the doors about trunk retreat you can either just come and attend the event or you can sponsor a trunk one or the other um, I have to share a story with you about the Our Lady thing it, uh, of Fatima we've gone round and round we have had every everything that could happen to try to prevent this statue from coming here has happened. I mean, with the most recent one being all of the water going out in the church. Now, how does that happen? Well, we know how it happens. There's a mean little guy down, down in the flames that is doing those things. But, yeah, right? So it all worked out. It all worked out. We got it straightened out. But I was complaining bitterly to one of my friends about this, and he said to me, Deacon Jim, that's good. And I almost said back to him, are you nuts? What do you mean this is all good? He said, the devil doesn't want you to do this. He's, he's pushing back. He's fighting. He, he said, keep going. Keep going. Because God wants the statue here, and the devil doesn't want it here. So I was, my wife and I were talking about it in the kitchen the other night. And we were joking, and I reached over and grabbed the refrigerator door and pulled it open, and the other refrigerator door handle flew off and hit me in the face. So now I have a scar <laughs> to, to remember the Our Lady of Fatima visit. So thank you. We hope you all come. You don't have to bring flowers if you want to. We'll, 
it's a three-day event. She's connected to all kinds of miracles. Please come. In conjunction with one of our community partners, we've arranged for free COVID and flu vaccine inoculations. That will be on October 21st from 9 to 3 in the Parish Hall. Be an informed parishioner. Visit our website, stbernadettela.org, or our Facebook page, or our Twitter page, or simply pick up a paper copy of the Parish Bulletin, which is also available online on our website. And it's Sunday, so coffee and donuts follows immediately in the Parish Hall. We don't have any other announcement for Fatima or anything, do we? No, okay. With that, my brothers and sisters, please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, go in peace. Glorify the Lord. Our closing song is I Have Decided to Follow Jesus, number 118, in the Lead Me, Guide Me hymnal, number 118. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. Behind me, the cross before me. 